welcome to half term um i'm sure if you are in year 11 or year 13 this is a welcome relief and for the rest of us it is a well earned break um so this video is all the new stuff that i've got up on my etsy store and i can see from the sales that loads of you are starting to prepare for a levels and then the normal videos will come tomorrow so I can say that I know loads of you are preparing for A-levels because not only are the study planners going like crazy but all of the subject stickers are selling really really well at the moment so um, if you are going to be doing A-level you can need a folder and to make the folders prettier here we have maths and science and more maths what's that one? English literature, focus. Um, French. I have tried to get a beautiful sticker designed for nearly every single subject. So if you are doing uh, computing and you don't want to get it confused with your physics, Seriously, these are the way to go for the side of your folders, for the front of your folders, um, and especially when you have to hand your folders in for folder checks, this is just going to make picking out your folder a bit easier um, and a bit better so that they do not get lost in the, the piles of all of the other folders. So these um, are the perfect way to make your folders beautiful and interesting and um, make sure they get lost with all the other ones because seriously he wants boring folders especially not if you're doing sociology now the other new things that I have are these two super cute little pads so they're designed in kind of like the same style as the um, the study planners so with the same backgrounds and the same fonts but for the big decision pads so are kind of like do you do maths or physics at A level so the issue do I do maths at A level brain dump just to see everything you think about that on there pros and cons and then the decision and then you can just recycle it because we don't need to keep these around and then the bit that I love um a to-do list with urgent important quadrants now if you haven't used urgent important quadrants before this is a brilliant way of sorting out which bits are important and which bits are urgent and which bits aren't so if we look at the pad that I was using things that are urgent and important I needed to update the shop listings which I haven't done yet things that are important but not urgent so I need to work on the whole of a level biology but that's not going to go out until September. So it's a really, really important project. But because it's got a really long deadline on it and it's not urgent. Things that are urgent but not important. Oh, I need to find a plumber because the toilet's leaking. But I have managed to turn off the water to that toilet. And we do have another one. So that's urgent, hugely important. And then things that are not urgent and not important. So updating this particular shop listing. It's kind of like, it's not hugely important. It's not urgent. So things that are not urgent and not important are the kind of things that you don't actually really, really need to do. So those are the bits that are new in Etsy this month. Um, I'm having so much fun designing all of these things uh drop a comment down below if there's anything you think of that would be useful for you guys because i don't just want to make stuff i want to make useful stuff um yeah 